WordPress Content Management System File Structure. In this WordPress Essentials training course, we've easily installed WordPress using one-click apps. And we've explored the dashboard, we've quickly published some sample content, but there is no point using WordPress if we don't understand how it's working, the file structure, and so on. Because at the end of the day, this is our website that we would like to grow. Now, we have chosen to self-host our WordPress site because it gives us full control as to what we can do to our website. And if we browse into File Manager, all the files that's making WordPress work can be seen here. Now, what I will do is show you the same structure using Dreamweaver here. It is very easy to understand WordPress and the way that it works. Because just look at the naming structure of what you're seeing on the screen now. wp-config.php file is a very important file. But you can quickly understand that that particular file is related to configuration of your WordPress site. Whereas this one here is to do with loading of your content management system. Same as truth with settings and so on. Out of all the files that you see here, this is the one that you may at times be required to edit. And the naming is also very intelligent because WP includes folder contains all the folders and files that is to be included as you're working with your WordPress site. It is very rarely that you will touch this folder or this one. WP admin surely then suggests it's to do with administrative side of your WordPress site. Inside WP content folder, all the content that is related to your content publishing can be found in it. And as you can see, and we've been learning, uploads that you make goes into uploads folder, themes are in themes folder, plugins are in plugins folder, and you also have options for languages as well. So, it is very easy to understand WordPress file structure. Now, looking at our web hosting account, we can then open up our database option and go to PHP MyAdmin. And at the time of WordPress installed using one-click apps, it dynamically created a database for us. And if we click on it, here you can see that all the content that you create from your dashboard and whether you save as draft or publish all that information is stored in a database dynamically so therefore when you create the post it gets added to posts as we can see if I extend that um, table option you can see the content of the po post is this and you can in fact make the changes here but you will never do that right you may at times um, back up your database just to keep a backup and you can do that through export option i have video tutorials which explains how to do that as well when you create categories or tags and so on or link categories and so on they are to do with taxonomy which is basically called grouping things together and if I expand that table you can see the taxonomy being used 
then logically comments go into comments table as we can see so, so this is a database that gets created and it is required for functioning of your WordPress site. You will rarely ever touch this database as far as modifying things. But at times, for maintaining your WordPress, it may be the case that you will require a bit of changes and tweaks. If that's the case, you are always able to make those changes through PHP My Admin options. Currently, there is only one user, which is the admin, but if for some unknown reason you get locked out of your website, you can make addition here as well. So, understanding WordPress file structure requires a bit of time and effort on your part. Although you don't need to know how all this is working, I just wanted to create this video session because in the future as your website grows you may require a bit of changes and so on particularly in WordPress config.php file whereby the information required to access your database the username and password for that user as well as security keys as well as debugging options you can set to true as well I thank you for learning with me and I'll talk with you in the next video session